guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a highly requested video. Highly requested as if I'm some famous person and everyone was asking. It's highly requested with a lot of the people that follow my Instagram page, Beauty by Sandra. I will include it in the link below or above in my video if I figure out how to how to edit a little bit better. I will be doing a get ready with me. It is a first for Beauty by Sandra, so I'm super excited, a little bit nervous, but hopefully I get the job done for you guys. Keep on watching if you would like to see how I achieved this look. My last video, Sephora haul, if you guys saw, I was using the YSL primer with its sister, the Touche Eclat. I'm probably still not saying that right, foundation. I'm going to use it for my get ready with me today. So what I like to do is just put a little bit of the primer on my hand with a little bit of the foundation. Again, on my hand, I'd like to do two pumps because I feel like it covers the whole face that way. I will take my damp beauty blender. Oops. Oh, it's dirty, my bad. My damp beauty blender and just dab it in around my hand. I always make sure that I have one side done and flawless and then I'll go to the other. I don't, you know, go crazy with the blending. So just up and down motions with your wet beauty blender. The overall look of the foundation, flawless coverage, beautiful finish. It's not too matte. But all your foundation is on and we're gonna go ahead and put on our concealer. I am using the NARS Soft Matte. Again, I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender, but this time just use the tip part. Again, it is still damp underneath the eye and go long down the nose and shorter up to the edge of the eye like a staircase. Beauty blender and then put it on the top of my eyelid as well to create a base canvas. Last time for the loose setting powder that I was talking about to prevent creasing under your eyes, I like to use the Laura Mercier translucent powder. If you have a damp beauty blender on hand, then I would just dip it in slightly. You don't need much, nothing needs to be falling off or excessive. And do the same motion of the staircase that you did with your concealer. Yes, I can bake, sir. Actually, when I did that photo, I have never received better feedback in my life on my beauty page. Well, I found my post funnier and they liked it more than they liked my own makeup photos. So, I mean, I'm not offended, but I might be. Using my Too Faced Just Peachy palette, it looks like so. All matte and they have lots of warm undertones. You're not gonna find any cool tones in this palette. When you're doing smoky eyes, you're gonna wanna start with a transition color. In this palette, I like to either use this brownish color or this peachy brown color in the crease of my eye to create dimension before I put any other color on my lid. With my 217 brush and go in with peach tea. So taking your fluffy brush, start in the outer corners of your eyes and just do circular motions into your crease. I'm gonna take the 221 brush from MAC. It is a little bit slimmer than the 217. I'm gonna grab it with Peach Tart. Tap off the excess and then just add it into the outer corners. See how it's a little bit of a harsh look? You would not, well I wouldn't. I wouldn't go out of the house with such a harsh look. So then I take my 224 from MAC and I blend until we get a nice transition. Now that we've done the outer corners, I'm gonna take this same color and add it deeper into the crease, but just in the crease area and I'm not gonna blend it out. So what I'm doing is taking from the outer corner of my eye and dragging my brush back and forth in rainbow motions just where the eye socket naturally creases. Now that I'm done with my dark colors, I'm actually just going to take a clean brush that I have in my belt and wipe away the excess loose powder that we have underneath our eyes. Now I'm going to go in with the color Peach Merengue with a MAC 239 brush and put it right 
in the inner corner of the eye to the center. With this brush you can either use padding or strokes. Since this is an all matte palette, I am gonna grab my Dila Kitten Karma that I used in my Sephora haul video with an applicator like this, and we're just gonna put that in the center of our eye. Clean, flat brush. So now that we've got our glitter on our eyes, we're gonna take Homemade in medium brown. I just like to take an angled brush to do this. I find it gives the most natural finish. And as you can see, my brows are not even at all. But I'm really good at making them look even, so I will show you guys the steps that I use to do that. I start with the angled brush, long tip facing in towards my nose, and just draw a line from here to here. That's your beginning step. Draw the line and shape out your brow. Now that you have the line there, what we're gonna do is fill in the space in between the line and the brow. Done. I'm gonna now take a little bit more of my product, wipe the excess off, and hang the inner corner of the brush and stroke upwards like hair. Brush again and start it in my upper corner of my brow. And head downward. Okay, as you guys can see, my brows do not start at the same place. So what I like to do is take a flat-ended brush and dip it into my concealer and then fake the start of my brows. So I will do it right here for you guys on camera. They're not twins, they are sisters, so do not worry if they don't look identical. What I like to do next is take the end of a brow pencil and just buff in the product that you have put on. That's a mascara. So next we're gonna do the lashes. We're just gonna put some glue onto the wand of it, and we're just gonna leave it set like this for a little bit till the glue gets a little bit tacky. Now that you got your transition color, we'll go back in with peach tart and just darken up the under eyes. I'm just gonna go back in with my black liner just in the outer corners, I don't like to go all the way in, just halfway. To have the inner corner lighter and then to graduate to darker really opens up the eye. A, a Prez Ski palette and use the cute little blush. Start on my cheekbones and head upwards. The highlight, I'm going to take a dense brush. It is a 133 a brush from MAC. And place it. Oh, wow. Whew. Damn, Becca. Put it on the top of my cheekbones and blend it out. We're gonna put a little bit on the bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose. Really? <laughs> feels so nice. And your lips feel so... Plump. I hate that word, plump. It's like moist. moist. So that's it for me guys on my first ever Get Ready With Me. I hope you guys learned something, anything. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next week.